Right. Liverpool left back Andy Robertson. A professional footballer kicking the ball into a target from 20 yards. It's good stuff, yeah. Might expect this level of accuracy from a world class footballer. Ah, oh, three out of three. I mean, that's the one that they published, all right. That's Andy Robertson keeping the nation's spirits up. Here's Trent Alexander Arnold. What's he up to? Oh, wow. He can chip a ball across the vast expanse of his back garden in his mansion. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a mic drop, Owen. <laughs> it's a mic drop. He's walked off into the. It's it, down the tunnel, I believe it is. Mm, very impressive from uh, the, the players doing exactly what they're expected to do. Uh, it's uh, mind blowing, Jer. No, 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 no. Trent Alexander Arnold, Andy Robertson, Liverpool fans losing their shit over this. This is how you do a skills challenge. This is Ronan Magalia. Take it away. Basketball in the distance. Ah, oh, straight through it. Now that's pretty good, right? It's incredible. I used to think that like those sort of videos were always fake. Like. But all like with all due respect to people in Ireland, I don't think there's, there's somebody who's in their front garden in Ireland actually making a fake video of those. Like that is real. I thought that like because you sometimes see these videos of like people doing these ridiculous uh, tricks and like throwing a, a, a basketball over their head to the other end of the court and it goes in and it's like I don't know how they're doing this, but they're editing this. I, I can't imagine this one is this. Or they've done it ten thousand times and that's the one that you get. I don't know if you saw Donaghy from uh, the uh, trampoline. Uh, scoring a basket from his back garden, which again, you know, plenty of room for him to throw the ball. It was brilliant. He was um, great accuracy uh, from the big man. Um, but Ron McElliott definitely uh, handing Trent Alexander Arnold and uh, Andy Robertson their ass when it comes to a uh, skills challenge. What do you got for us Absolutely. next? Absolutely. We're uh, running down through the rest of the things we're seeing in our state of semi lockdown. Here is a, a bishop going around doing long range blessings. This was posted by Bertie for Prez on uh, Redis, the Ireland Tread in Redis. Keeping your social distancing going, going around to the estates, uh, getting mass in. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you were concerned about this, sir. How are people going to look, you know, to, to, to keep it up? And uh, this is it, you know, clearly standing and kneeling and everything in between uh, in the estate. So uh, good job to good job to that bishop. Everybody has to pull their weight. Absolutely. What's next? Steph Curry, Jer. What's uh, what's going on with Steph Curry? You you spotted this online over the, the over last night. Hyped to talk all things COVID nineteen with Dr. Fauci of the NIAID News tomorrow. So Fauci has been the sole voice of reason in the Trump administration's treatment of what's been going on. Basically, Trump is going to reopen everything in the next couple of days because he's bored. And uh, Fauci has been like, no, this is really bad. We should really. Uh... And he's been kind of sidelined over the last couple of weeks. But Steph Curry. One of the most famous athletes on the planet is using his own platform on Instagram to have a Q&A with Fauci to get people to take this seriously and stay at home. L luckily enough, all of the uh, local politicians, the mayor of New York, the governor of California, they all understand exactly what's going on and they've um, begun to take steps a bit late to the day because obviously the federal warning system that they had in America uh, was shut down because, you know, who, who needs a warning system about pandemics which never happen was essentially the um, Trump administration's decision to cut whatever small amount of budget that it would have been to uh, alert the citizens of America and probably the rest of the world about how bad this was going to be. Uh, you want to talk about Mike Ashley? Well, yesterday, Dick of the Day, was the man in Walmart in Missouri licking the bottles of medicine. Today, your Dick of the Day is Mike Ashley. So, for a couple of reasons, really. First of all, he's Mike Ashley. Second of all, uh, his uh, sports direct company have increased prices on a string of sports equipment by more than 50%. So these were internal documents seen by PA over the past couple of days. Some of the indoor exercise gear has shot up by as much as 67%. So because the company operates a system of having ticket prices followed by reduced stickers, it can be unclear sometimes what a price a product was ever sold at. But pricing documents show that, say, for example, an Everlast four kilogram kettlebell has gone up from... 9.99 to 14.99 although the sticker will say the original ticket price was 19.99 the cost of a 12 kg kettlebell by everlast um is now 39.99 up from 29.99 so you better have had your home gym installed before the pandemic otherwise sports direct are going to screw you over and then of course Mike Ashley was embroiled in this other story over the past couple of days uh, himself and uh, fellow good guy Tim Martin the founder of Weatherspoons 
uh, caused a bit of uproar. Tim Martin said he wouldn't pay his staffs, uh, his 43,000 staff for five weeks while his pubs were shut. And then Mike Ashley was forced into an embarrassing U-turn on his decision to keep stores open after the government intervened. So he had tried to argue that his stores were selling essential items, uh, but the essential category uh, reserved for other items, of course. So it's, it's not been a, a few good weeks. It's not been a, a good few days, actually, for a lot of rich people in the UK. Richard Branson hasn't exactly covered him in glory either. So, uh, Mike Ashley, your dick of the day. Right. Um, that's our lockdown roundup this morning. Andy Moran's going to join us in a few minutes' time on OTB AM. But first, everybody, please sit down, put down that cup of tea. Owen Sheehan would like to address the nation, his nation. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ireland. I would like to address my nation. To the people of Ireland, to our President Michael D. Higgins, to Vice Admiral Mark Mellet, to Garda Commissioner Drew Harris, Chief Medical Officer Tony Houlihan, Leo, the two Simons, Mary and Michal. I respect you all greatly and I would like to put forth some of my thinking. We need to bring back the pink snack bar. In 2015, you took away the greatest thing Ireland has ever produced. A stick made of chocolate and then wafer and then chocolate and then wafer and then chocolate and then wafer and then chocolate. And beside that stick was another stick made of chocolate and then wafer and then chocolate and then you get the picture. And beside that, a third stick of glory. They say three is a crowd, but not when it comes to three delicious sticks of dynamite. In 2013, it was decided to remove one of those sticks. It was a devastating blow to our entire nation. Two years later, in 2015, pink snack bars were removed forever. The last five years have been tough. For the last five years, cups of tea have been at their most lonely. For the last five years, pint men in random pubs all around Ireland have not had their sweet tooth properly massaged. We now live in a world entirely inhabited by the weird cousins of pink snacks. I'm talking about yellow snacks and purple snacks. Hey, yellow and purple, no one likes you. So do the right thing. Bring light back into our lives and bring back the pink snack. Together we stand. God bless us all.